Salt in Dishes Once upon a time, there was an emperor who had three daughters. Remaining a widower, he poured all his love on his daughters, who in turn, seeing how carefully and lovingly they were raised, were trying to make the emperor forget the grief and gripped him for their mother's death. One day, I don't know what happened to the emperor, because he asked the big girl, My daughter, how do you love me? I love you like honey, the girl replied. She answered like that because she thought that the sweetest thing in the world was honey. Then he asked the middle girl, My daughter, how do you love me? I love you like sugar, the girl replied. Glad at these flattering answers, the emperor also asked the little girl, My daughter, how do you love me? I love you like salt in dishes, dad, the girl replied. Hearing this answer, the emperor was angry with the girl that she had not found a more suitable word to express her love for him. In his anger, he kicked the girl out of the palace, telling her he never wanted to hear her name again. The girl cried bitterly, but her sisters did not reassure her either. She then puts on old and torn clothes and goes up into the world. She went from village to village until she reached the court of another emperor. Arriving at the gate, she met the waitress, the lady who kept the keys to all the rooms in the palace and the keys to the closets, and because she was just looking to hire a girl, she hired her immediately. The emperor's daughter was good, hard-working and smart, and she quickly gained the waitress's trust. She did not gossip with the servants, but when someone needed advice, the girl advised wisely and everyone was amazed at her wisdom. And when she had free time, she read a book. Everyone respected her and talked nice about her. The news of the girl's worthiness and humility reached the queen's ears. Therefore, the empress called her, and when she saw that the girl spoke sincerely, without pretense and without much audacity, she took her as her help. The emperor and queen also had a boy, whom they loved very much. One day, the king went to war and took his son with him. In the war, the son was wounded, and when they brought him home, the girl took good care of him, and he began to love her. After a while, the emperor's son announces to his parents that he wants to marry the girl in the house. The wedding preparations begin. The only requirement of the bride was to be invited to the wedding. The emperor of the neighboring kingdom, but she did not tell anyone that he was her father. The bride gave the servants instructions on how to prepare the guest's food, but for her father, she did the food. On the day of the wedding, the servants bring the food the bride had cooked to her father. When the dish appeared on the table, everyone ate just with lust. Only the guest emperor, the girl's father, hardly swallowed anything that seemed bad and t- tasteless. He asked the guest, on his right side, then the left side, if the food was good, and everyone said it was the most delicious dish they had ever tasted. The guest emperor 
took his heart and asked the guest next to him to allow him to taste his food. When he tasted and saw the difference, the guest emperor became angry, stood up and said, Okay, emperor, did you call me to your son's wedding to make fun of me? The groom's father marveled at the guest emperor's word. The emperor said aloud that the food in front of him was sweet, while the food of the other guests was delicious and good to eat. Then the groom's father asked the cook to come in front of the guests and explain what had happened. The bride spoke and said, I cooked the food for the angry emperor. She then told them how her father had kicked her out of the house because she had told him that she loved him like salt in dishes. I wanted to prove to my father that we can live without honey and sugar, but not without salt. The guest emperor was ashamed and apologized, and the girl forgave him. Then they brought tasty food for him and began to rejoice. The king and queen were so proud proud of such a daughter-in-law being wise. So the news spread in the world about the palace party and the girl who had loved her father like salt in dishes.